Precious Lord, we thank you so much for giving us this day and the precious time to set us this. We are here as your people, the Lord Father, to listen from you. It is our prayer that you will speak unto us this day. Even though this month seemed like a presentation for an award, a degree, or something. But it is my earnest prayer that, Father, through this your simple, short time of our togetherness, you will speak forth your word unto somebody. That if somebody is sitting here under the sound of my voice this day, and as soon as I tell you as you saw a light and personal savior, that at the end of this few minutes discussion, Somebody might have accepted you wholeheartedly as he saw her life and personal savior. That in the end, we we'll all leave this place rejoicing in your holy name. Thank you for your saints gathered here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are happy to be in church this morning, I want you to put your hands together to the glory of Jesus Christ. I am so excited to see all of you once again in church this day. And I was kind of wondering and bothering what actually brought you to church this morning. Oh, to some of us, maybe we bought some new clothes and we just want to put them on and feel good about it. It's all good. But if you can share with me, I'll be so glad. Beloved, can somebody share with me in a few seconds what actually brought him or her to church this day? Do we have anybody like that? Yes, sister. To gain salvation. To gain salvation. Perfect. Perfect. Maybe time is on our side. I would love for you to explain to me how to gain salvation. But I'm sure we'll touch about that. Brother, I saw your hand. What brought you to church this morning? To attain, to attain the word of God to grow as a Christian. To attain the word of God, to go as a Christian, grow, grow. to grow as a Christian. Perfect. It is good that we will also grow as Christians. Yes, brother. What brings you to one another? To fellowship with one another. Who else? Yes, ma'am. To worship the Lord. To worship the Lord. Are there some non-Christians here? Somebody <coughs> came to church and is, yes, brother. Uh, my friend invited me today. A friend invited you. Oh, that's great. So you, apart from all that brother said, brethren said, uh, to give uh, salvation to a friend that's brought you here, and as to why he brought you, you don't even know, right? I don't know. Let's wait and see if it's also worth coming to church this day, which I think is perfect. Beloved, yes, Daddy, what, what, what brought you to church? Yeah, I discussed discuss something with my friend, and then he said, uh, there's a church here, so we have to come. A friend told you that there is a church here? through your discussion, and so you are here. You know, even as we can see in these few minutes, we have diverse reasons why we come to church every day, every now and then. They are all great and they are all perfect. But I want to stand on some few of your answers and just comment on I mean, some few things briefly. That if some of you, you want to grow in the fellowship and in the knowledge of God. Some of you, you are here because you want to go to heaven. Some of you friends brought you here, invited you here. And so if I may say that it's not all of us that are Christian. And some of us are also Christians. It's all good. That is the very reason of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ on earth here. That we all might attain salvation. We all will become Christians. But the question is, how can one become a Christian? If I'm to also ask or inquire. I'm sure many of you would have had diverse answers as to how somebody can become a Christian. Now, if I'm to share with you in brief moment as to how you can become a Christian, let's look at this. I think we've all been to first grade before, right? Have we all been in first grade before? Yeah. Some of the cheapest um, topics or discussions we've had in class as first graders, if I'm going to be right, is learning our alphabet, isn't it? And with the alphabet, what are the first three letters that start the alphabet? The kids, can somebody tell me? 
A, B, C. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, my little brother. The simplest and the easiest thing to learn, even as first graders, is A, B, C. And I don't think ever since some of us learned our alphabet, A, B, and C, we have ever forgotten about it. Has anybody forgotten about his or her alphabet? Sometimes, but most of the times we do not forget about that. And that is perfect. So long as we do not forget about our alphabet, the A and the B and the C. What we are saying this morning as to how to become a Christian is as simple as that. It's as simple as the A, B, and C. And so, so long as you will not forget the first three letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, I'm going to think that you will never forget as to how to become a Christian. Now, let's look at them, the A, B, C. The A that our brother talked about in becoming a Christian represents accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Can somebody repeat after me? Accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. That is the A. So every time you remember your alphabet, you ask yourself, what does the A represent in becoming a Christian? And you remind yourself, oh, the answer is accepting Jesus as your life and personal Savior. How about the B? The B says that believing with all your heart, believing with all your heart, that what? That Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, believing in Him. That is the B, which I'm sure we would also know, uh, we, uh, never forget. Believing in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. And what about the last one, the C? The C is what? Confessing. Confessing your sins. Confessing that uh, Jesus Christ is Lord. And as a matter of fact, God raised him up or brought him up from death. Now let's quickly read something from the book of Romans chapter 10 and the verse 10 and we bring our discussion to an end as to how to become a Christian. Let's see that all this that we just talked about is right here in scripture. Romans chapter 10 and verse 10. Quickly I'll take it from here. For with the heart man believes on righteousness and with the mind confession is made unto salvation. Good. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Beloved, this is all that we are talking about. If you want to go to heaven, the first thing is to become a Christian. And how do we become Christians? That's the ABC. As soon as you ask yourself, how do I become a Christian? Remember, ABC, accepting Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. B, believing that he is the Son of God. See, then confession unto salvation. That is all you need. Now, if you have made that, you have become a Christian. Hallelujah. Thank you. Someone gather your heads for the word of prayer. Father, we want, to, we want to thank you once again for sharing with us your word as to how we can become Christians. Your word has made it plain to us and through our discussion that it's as simple as anything of becoming Christians. And that is the very reason why you came, Jesus, to die for us. And it is for us to accept you as our Lord and personal Savior. And it's for us to believe in you. And it's for us to also to go first. Help us be able to do this. And remember at all times that Jesus is mighty and we're with us. Amen. 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 Amen.